Yo, what's up boys, it's Thetic. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up OBS Studio, as well as give you guys the best settings for streaming and recording. Hope you guys enjoy. So starting off, of course, I recommend OBS Studio, as I think it's better than Streamlabs. I'm using Streamlabs to record this because I'm setting up OBS Studio. But for starters, link's in the description, go to the website, download it. So once you've gone through the installer, you'll be brought to this page. You're just going to want to hit cancel and then close on this, and you'll be on the basic OBS Studio screen. So the first thing I like to do is I'm going to right click my scene and I'm going to change one of them to recording and then I'm going to make another one called streaming. This just gives me two scenes to instantly work with where on the recording one I'll just add like let's say a game capture and you don't really need to mess with these settings but this will be for like any game that's full screen. So once you've done that we're going to do our settings. So starting off in the general tab, I like to change my theme to just dark as I think it looks better and it's easier to work with. And the general tab, there's not really much to do here. I don't, I uncheck, automatically check for updates on startup. And I also scroll down and I hit minimize system tray when started. That's because I use OBS for clipping instead of GeForce. If you guys want a video on how to set that up, uh, just let me know and I'll do that. In the stream tab, you're gonna wanna log in if you're streaming. I'm just going to go through the login now. Once you log into Twitch, you'll be on this page. I enable some emotes, and then I always check this, which just makes it so you can go above the Twitch's recommended settings. Once you got that, now we're going to move over to the output tab. The first thing you want to do is change your output mode to advanced. And then on the streaming tab, we're going to change our encoder to our graphics card and not our CPU. If you're single PC streaming, like... I'm assuming a majority of you guys are. I like to rescale, which just makes it so you're not streaming at full quality. Like for example, you're not streaming at 1920 by 1080, you can make it, I like 1664 by 936. This is just a little bit lower than 1080p and it just is easier to run and it still looks good. For the bitrate, you can do about 6,000 on CBR. If you have really good, like a really good PC, you can go higher than this, like 7,000, but 6,000 is pretty much the sweet spot and it's like the Twitch recommended, I guess. For the keyframe interval, change this to two. For the preset, do slow, and if you're having performance issues, maybe go to like medium or fast if you have a really bad PC, but I would just leave it default for most people. Uh, you can leave these settings all default and I uncheck psycho visual tuning. Hit apply, and now we can move over to the recording tab. To start, uh, this is where your videos are going to end up, so if you need to change this, put it on a different drive or wherever, do that now. Recording format, change this to MP4. Uh, I wouldn't mess with the audio tracks unless you know what you're doing and you want to change that, but if you don't know what it is, just leave it. For the encoder, just use your graphics card, 264. If you have an AMD card, I forgot to mention this, it'll be... Something with Radeon or AMD, I'm really not sure. Just whatever's not x264. For the rate control, and I don't use CBR on this, I use CQP. You can use 20, or if you have a worse PC, maybe 18. Same thing with these settings. I just put the keyframe interval to 2, and then I put the psychovisual tuning off. Um, and then you can do the same thing, change these to fast or medium if you're having performance problems. I just leave it default. Then you're done with the output tab. Now we're going to move over to audio. So on the audio tab, I change the sample rate to 44.1 because it doesn't make a difference in audio quality really and it's just better for performance. Desktop audio, headset, whatever your headset is, mic, your mic, whatever you use, then just hit apply. So for the video tab, for the base resolution, you want to use whatever your monitor is. Um, I just have a normal 1080p monitor, so I'll just select that. And then for the output resolution, you want to just match it. For the FPS, i do it to 60, and then for the hotkeys tab, I mean, you can set up whatever you need. I mean, if you like want to mute your mic with a bind or anything like this, you can set this up. Uh, accessibility, you don't have to do anything. This is just for the colors of like, as you can see, like the mic. And then in the advanced tab, we're really not going to do that much, to be honest. Um, you can change your color range to full and then scroll down, and I like to make sure you uncheck hardware acceleration because it's just going to kill your performance just make sure that's unchecked that's about it for the settings panel um it'll ask you to restart obs just hit yes and as you can see because i'm logged into twitch it'll bring up all my panels um i'm just going to close these 
and I'll show you guys how to actually get those if you're streaming. Um, what you can do is you can just hit the docs button and then any of these, like it'll tell you like for example, stats, this is like OBS stats. If you know these, there's Twitch activity, like your feed here, stream information. Sorry, let me do that. Uh, this is like your title and you can just like size these and you can snap them to parts like you just saw me do on accident. Like you can snap it up here or the side or like anywhere you want really, it doesn't matter. Um, I normally just keep mine like this and then you can just get whatever dock you want. If you have like a mic that has really bad background noise, you can hit these three little dots and hit filters. You can right click add and add a noise suppression. This is like the same thing as like Discord noise suppression. Um, and I found that this RNN noise is actually like pretty damn good. The only reason I don't use it is because when I like yell or get loud, it like muffles my audio. So if you're having that same issue, but you want that noise suppression, you can maybe try this one. I haven't tried it, so I'm really not sure how good it is. So uh, yeah, you can just mess with that. And then with our scenes and sources, if you ever need to add a source, like a desktop capture or anything, you can just right click, hit add and just select any one that you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the OBS settings. Like I said, if you guys want a video on how to clip with OBS, um, I'll, I can make a video on that, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I got some new videos coming soon. Sorry for the long wait. Peace.